and welcome everyone, Lionheart here with part one of my new Shogun 2 Total War Fall of the Samurai campaign playing as the Satsuma. Thanks everyone that voted on the various polls. The first one to decide that we we're going to play Fall of the Samurai next and the second poll to decide that we're going to play as the Satsuma. Um, we are playing this uh, basically unmodded. We're using a few visual only mods, the new Bayonet mod and the real armies mod and I'll show off how both of those work once we get into the campaign i have also left the retexture campaign mod but i realized that actually just applied all the lighting effects from the fall of the samurai mod a uh, full samurai mod from the fall of the samurai campaign to the sengoku jedi campaign the main shogun 2 campaign so that won't make any difference or at least it shouldn't do in this fall of the samurai campaign but yeah i didn't really want to play darth mod for this one i was quite enjoying the vanilla experience we had with our previous takeda campaign which is of course now ended uh not to say i won't check out darth mod and play a darth mod series again in the future if you guys really enjoy this fall of the samurai one maybe we'll do one more haven't decided yet i know some people still want to see a rise of the samurai campaign and i would like to give you guys a rise of the samurai campaign as well so maybe we'll do darth mod rise of the samurai next who knows um we'll kind of see what the schedule's like, what other games we're covering, and what you guys are interested in. But today, our adventure begins. We're, of course, streaming this live over on Twitch and recording at the same time for YouTube. So Twitch, say hi to YouTube. YouTube people, say hi to Twitch people in the comments. Or say hi to yourselves across some kind of timey, wimey, wibbly, wobbliness. But let's uh, begin our campaign. Before we do, though, someone's always going to ask what your graphic settings. Here they are. Feel free to pause the video, have a look through all of them. But basically, everything maxed out. There you go. New campaign, Fall of the Samurai, and we are playing as the Satsuma. We're going to play this on very hard difficulty. Um, we're going to play this to long campaign. Why not legendary? Um, I just don't like the uh, camera restrictions and the inability to save whenever you want. As far as I'm aware, though, the modifiers for very hard to legendary aren't don't actually change, or at least they don't in more recent Total Wars. They're exactly the same. It just tends to add that battle realism and the restriction to the camera. So a little, little bit of interesting kind of tidbit information the one or two of you shared across uh, comments for the votes for the series and what have you was that it's interesting that in fall of the samurai the clans and factions of of japan had changed from naming or referring to themselves by the name of their clan because the satsuma are essentially the shimazu as far as i'm aware but instead they refer to they they name themselves after the domain that they i guess originate from uh which in this case is the satsuma province so that, that was an interesting bit of uh, sort of history. If anyone else has any kind of Shogun 2 or Fall of the Samurai related um, history, little interesting bit, nuggets of information, feel free to share them. But anyway, Satsuma, their initial challenge is easy. So we'll see how this goes. We are going to go for independence in this run, which means going like go for a Republic because you can either side with the Shogun or the Emperor, or you can go independent and form your own Republic. We'll be doing that in this campaign. So all power to the Satsuma Republic is going to be the plan. So the Shimazu of Satsuma Domain are an old clan and can claim the Minamoto Shoguns of old as blood relatives. They have long received tribute from the Rei Kuyu Kingdom, I butchered that, and traded with China, making them more independent and open to foreign ideas than many others in Japan. I'm assuming is that that kingdom, is that Korea? Um, their loyalties, for the most part, lie with the Emperor. Satsuma has two provinces at the start of the campaign and is rich. With an effective and efficient administration, they also have an advantage when it comes to recruiting foreign veterans as agents. Uh, the Emperor's ambition, administration plus 5% reduction to administration costs, westernization minus 10% cost um, of foreign veteran actions, leadership plus 15% increase to the general's radius of influence, and domain be begins with two provinces. So we're going to play for a long campaign. We need to capture and hold 26 provinces. In addition, uh, ensure at least 50 provinces are held by forces law to the Emperor, including the following. We need to control Musashi and Yamashiro. So those two ones in red. So we'll have to, yeah, conquer all the way across there. I'm thinking, like, to start with, we will be friendly with other Imperial forces, but we will have, we will probably look to take them out. I am kind of thinking if at some point maybe we'll take out the Saga if they aren't super friendly with us, just so that we can control all of this island. I don't know what it's called. Someone please educate me. Um, we need to complete all of this by the end of your turn in late December 1876. So uh, let's uh, dive on in and begin. After the Sengoku Jidai, peace reigned for 200 years. 
In Kyoto, the Emperor continued as divine head of state. But real power was held by the Tokugawa shogunate. For two centuries, they ruled with absolute authority. Japan prospered. The people were content. In 1853, American warships changed everything. The shogun abandoned his people and signed the Treaty of Peace and Amity. The gates to Japan were open. Trade was established, but the agreements favor the Western powers. The economy faltered, and the people suffered. In 1863, the emperor overruled the shogun. An imperial decree ordered the expulsion of all Western powers. No longer would Japan be westernized. The time had come to strike back. Western powers gave the answer. Prepare to run out the guns. On my command, fire! The treacherous Westerners brought death to our people. The Shogun no longer commanded respect or loyalty. Imperial rule had to be restored. To strengthen our position, the Emperor made peace with the British. We will study their ways and discover their secrets. Only then can we destroy the Shogun and return honor to Japan. The Emperor must be victorious. For the Emperor! Satsuma Domain. Our family, the Shimizu, has ruled these lands since the time of the first Minamoto Shogun ever loyal to Japan and her people. But the Tokugawa and their lackeys have failed us, allowing themselves to be manipulated by Western powers. For the good of all, power must be returned to the Emperor. Our first priority should be to ally with domains who share our beliefs. There is little support for the shogunate here in Kyushu, but opposition is inevitable, and resistance must be met with force. Once the situation on Kyushu is under control, we must support our allies on the mainland. Imperial control of Kyoto and Edo will be vital if we are to break the shogun's wicked grip on the land. When full-scale war finally erupts between Imperial and Shogunate forces, the people of Satsuma will be at the vanguard, leading Japan into a bright and glorious future. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Emperor. I mean, probably this first, th this first episode I'm thinking is probably going to be titled For the Emperor! With a little slight asterisk saying, For now, because eventually we will go independent. When do we get is that our Realm Divide event? It sort of says, remain loyal to the Emperor, switch and declare for the Shogun, or go independent, I assume. So yeah, uh, Kyushu is our, our starting island that we will try and... The Kyushin War 
is a conflict Unite. between the forces of the Shogunate and those of the Emperor. War, yeah, that's what the period we're fighting in. must pledge allegiance to one or the other. The object of the campaign game is to secure allegiance to our cause and capture territory. When our clan's fame reaches a certain level, we must choose to rally behind one power or the other, or attempt to assume personal control of the country. This last option will lead to all but our most loyal allies turning against us. Yeah, that's the option we're going to go for. So yeah, go independent, but to start with, for the Emperor. So yeah, for the Emperor, for now. It's a three-way realm divide. Nice. Developing our potential. Although it saddens me to see our culture diluted by the barbarian ways of the Westerners, there are many advantages to embracing the technology. To conduct advanced research, we must first increase our capacity for development by building up our civic and industrial infrastructure. Increase your clan's development level. Inspired endeavors plus 50% to wealth generated by buildings across all provinces. I always kind of found it quite interesting that, you know, this whole thing kicked off because the Shogun wanted to... I guess, industrialize and embrace the ways of the Westerners and, and the Emperor's against that. But in the end, they end up embracing the British, at least, to, um, you know, modernize with them to be able to stop the Shogun. So they kind of, they modernize anyway. I forgot that we had, yeah, development level. As you do that, does that eventually have, that has an impact on like public orders in it or like the traditions we are going to modernize with this because there's just lots of really fun modernization stuff that we can get um that gives you banzai fire arrows plus five percent to replenishment so that's worth still getting yes let's go for that for the replenishment start with let's have a look at diplomacy are we at war with anyone we're at war with the uh nobika nobika which are over here. So we'll go take them out. Saga are indifferent. I was kind of thinking about taking them out, to be honest, just so that I can control all of our starting island. You guys are our vassal over there. Okay, cool. They're pro emperor. Yeah, we can see who they are. Or against you guys we are trading we'll see if you get taken out yeah i'm kind of like i want to support my allies but also i want land and wealth and power but we start off with two regions which is good and technologies are factors that contribute to modernization modernization causes unrest amongst traditionalists and may lead to samurai rebellions this may be countered by increasing local happiness or repression with certain buildings, technologies, and characters. Okay. Uh, we don't have to worry about food in this, do we? There isn't a there isn't a food mechanic to manage, which is I guess useful. Um I did see a comment saying the police station only ever leveled them up to the second tier because when you switch to Republic or what have you, they if they're tier three or four, they don't convert over. So that's a good shout. So yeah, clan development. One, minus 20% to the recruitment costs of traditional units. Plus two to the morale of all traditional units. And plus two to the experience of all traditional units. Modernization towards the next town level, yeah. Foreign veterans are British. I say, what, what? I'm trying to remember. Increase sign of sights. Movement range, yeah. We want to pop you in our army. So these are the guys we're at war with first. So let's head our force over there. Commanded by a general and position in naval oh, yeah. bombardment. Naval bombardment. Fleets to support our army's actions by providing is the artillery barrage. Just this little circle. It's not actually as big as I thought it was. Weakening enemy armies and settlements on the campaign. So I can, I'm going to send you guys around there to go and provide naval bombardment because that's just such a great feature you they added in with this. Outside. I know it's multi-turn. So yeah, let me just let's have a look at the family. There's my daimyo. We've got our son, and we've got another general. Must be more famous before they can be assigned to a commission. Okay, we can convert allegiance as well. Interesting. That would really kick everything off at the start, wouldn't it? There are 
Two types of rebellion. Oh, two types of rebellion. I probably should listen to that. What are the two types of rebellion? Is it um, types of rebellion from if they're not pro emperor and also just public order? I'm assuming maybe that's it. Right. Well, I mean, farms that even though we don't need to worry about food, they still provide a pretty decent amount of income. Harbor as well. Let's upgrade that. Each season is six turns, but you currently have four turns of winter left. Okay, so yeah, winter attrition outside of my territory. What have we got? Spear levy, Yoikachi. We'll utilize them to start with until they are gone. Um, let's take our daimyo out. A daimyo does not have loyalty to the clan he leads. He has honor instead. If he loses honor, this will in turn affect the buildings that have been damaged due to sabotage. You've already got the police station in there. I want to get where's my like better barracks? Wooden cannons, don't want that. Cadet school. Recruitment replenishment line infantry. That's what we want in there. So we've got town and we've also got the stronghold in there. So I can get a uh, Ishen Shishi. They're like my secret police, aren't they? Imperial activists who mission to wrestle power from the Shogunate, destroy the Emperor. They are expert propagandists. Okay. You can write they're not, not secret police. Is that another one or is they not exist? They can incite revolts or assassinate. I mean, maybe they are kind of secret police style. Let's get one of you. And uh, we actually do get slightly better um, accuracy from here as well. Here we go. Whose mission is to wrestle power from the Shogunet and restore it to the Emperor. Thanks. What have we got here? Blacksmith is the accuracy. So, ac mm, we probably want our cadet school over here. I seem to remember that actually last time I played. Um, I don't know if I played Satsuma. I don't think I've ever played Satsuma before, but that, I feel like I want to switch that over. Here to get the cadet school in, actually. And instead, we'll build the police station there. Or we could, I mean, we want the cannon school there as well. Is that, black, is that accuracy for all troops? All units, yeah. I mean, the inn that gets the geisha, which are quite useful. That's repression, increased spread of influence. I don't think we need to worry about that just yet. Um, cottage industry, that's quite good. That hits our, gets quite a lot of money, but. Hits our happiness from modernization. Um, let's let's go for the inn actually. Let's get Geisha out there as well. I want to try and utilize my agents a bit more in this where we can. There are three ways to move an army from a settlement. Each general has a loyalty rating. Guess we'll keep both generals together for now. Might as well. Or I could throw that general back to govern here. Do do you still get the um, eye for the ladies like negative trait and what have you in Fall of the Samurai or is that gone? Oh, I've got all the advice coming. Okay. Um, we should probably get on trade nodes as well, shouldn't we, while we can? I don't know. I don't feel like I need both generals here, so I'm going to send you back here. From our treasury. As you command. Yes, my lord. Right. Let's end the turn then, because um, we could trade with the Saga. They're already trading with all of them. Is that the bonus thing that they can trade? You can trade with all three. I thought you could only trade with one to get their bonuses, or is it you have to create it's like the Nanban trade district of Shogun Two, where you choose one specific one to get? I'm pretty sure you have to wait for them to approach you, though. But yeah, if anyone can clarify, either on Twitch or, I mean, probably by the time... I don't know. If, actually, no. Probably by the time this goes up on YouTube, we won't... I doubt we'll have encountered them yet, so it'll probably still be valid. If anyone wants to explain which is the best or what the strength and weaknesses of, of each of them are, British, French, and US, that'd be grand. Enough. Can I, can I turn advisor, like, down, please? 
No, oh, it's low. My cassettes are none, but there might be one or two useful bits in there. It's a bit much. Yeah, send you guys around. Up we go. Okay, so we can see they are assembling an army. I can bombard them, can't I? Yeah, it gives me a bit of veterancy. Well, at least go grab that one. And yeah, we'll get another one. Okay, and the cadet school is what I want, really. But that's fine. That's fine for now. We've got all those going in here. We're just upgrading all of this like crazy. Send you up this way. Send you in there. Select the technology you wish to Attrition is the loss of And so again, hello. Yeah, you guys want trade. Alpha, and do so with all your undoubted wisdom. Yeah, you know what? For now, I will take it because we're a ways off. But I'm kind of tempted to take you out. Ah, oh, cool. They're coming to attack me. Ah, oh, but that means my ship won't be able to bombard. It's the time for clans to decide where their loyalties lie. To the Shogunate or to the Emperor. To the status quo or to the future. As such, clans in a game can either be pro-Shogunate or pro-Imperial. Shinsengumi or Ishin Shishi can spread a clan's influence simply by their presence in a province. Once a clan declares their allegiance, they must fight for the cause they have chosen. See the encyclopedia for further details. Okay, I've just checked um, actually online. The French have the best infantry, I believe. That's their infant infantry uh, de marine, which have amazing accuracy and reload skills. The British have the ability for you to recruit HMS Warrior, so you have the best ships. And the US are, I think, middle ground um, with like decent solid marines and uh infantry and and ships and what have you i think that's how it goes but i'm pretty sure it's down to which one of them comes to you first you can decline it and hope that they'll come back but it's a bit of a risk i guess mission issues issue strengthen our position capture i mean that that's what i'm aiming for if i go back here we should be able to see our missions we've got that one developing our potential fish clans development level no time limit, inspired endeavors, and then the Emperor's Mandate. We've got 12 turns to do that. Um, oh, no, sorry, that's 12 turns on that. No time limit on that one. Just capture that province, and then we'll get the Emperor's Mandate, which increases the spread of pro-imperial sentiment across all provinces, plus two. Hi, guys. Ready for orders. Um, I doubt you'll be... Is it, like, do bigger ships have Your more word, bombardment range, I feel? Can I hit you guys? Yeah, I can go in and strike you. I just really wanted the naval bombardment. But I doubt, yeah, they're not going to be able to support. So we'll have to probably take you guys back up there. And we'll just fight with this army for now. I and mean, we could give ourselves additional forces, but you guys will be able to hit that, I'd have thought. Can you do that? Assassinate. Or you could persuade them. Insight revolt. Low chance. You guys are already trading with. So I guess I'm just going to send you up past this one so I can see who's a uh, bungo. Right, let's finally have our first battle. It is possible for a clan to field two armies of 20. Right, they've got their daimyo and their brother in there. So let's take them out. Uh, we do outnumber them. In we go. Battle of Sunni. 1864. Ironclad is the best ship. Yes. Ironclads are incredible. HMS Warrior, though, I believe is... Um, is that, is that a, an ironclad type? Or is it just really... 
just a really powerful ship anyway. I think it must be. I could probably check it out in the... Uh, in the info. Alright, these guys should, if the mods worked. You guys won't, but you guys, yeah, should have bayonets on your model, which doesn't change anything. No stat change or anything. Just a, just a visual change because bayonets were apparently in the game files. They would just never see, never put them, actually activate them. Someone was saying as well, you, you felt that Fall of the Samurai was the best um, like DLC or expansion they ever did. Yeah, I, I agree. Actually, it's probably my favorite. I mean, it's a standalone title and obviously they've retroactively called it the Total War Saga, which I refuse to do. Because I think that gives, um, I think Total War Saga diminishes the uh, the nature of Fall of the Samurai because I don't particularly like where Total War Sagas have, have taken the series. Um, yeah, they're okay, but like the fact they had to retroactively go back to Fall of the Samurai and be like, oh yeah, that's, that's one because you guys are confused as to what sagas are. And we're like, well, yeah, and also... Quality-wise, feel like Fall of the Samurai is better. Oh, uh, yeah, as you modernize, doesn't the general's bodyguard changes, doesn't it? From, like, traditional warriors to, like, revolver cavalry officers, I think. That's something I remember happening. Today, sir, we attack. Today, sir, we attack. But yeah, Fall of the Samurai is a solid title. Not perfect, but solid so yeah what's the line infantry's reload skill is 30 range of 125 30 accuracy compare that to the levy that's 125 so range is the same reload skill is terrible accuracy is 10 these guys have some slightly better accuracy though because they're recruited from our province with the the blacksmith or whatever it is Are these guys fire by rank as well, or is it just like massive volley fire? Oh, it's only new generals, not existing ones that change. Really? I thought they, I thought they changed as you, as you modernized. Matchlocks need Billy Connolly. Mo yeah, oh, I would love that if they had that in. I wonder, is there, is there a mod that adds like a Tom Cruise model into the game? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I want to... Some people have been asked about this as well. I, I, I do actually want to go back to Thrones of Britannia because despite what I've just said about sagas, I feel like that one potentially has some more merit to it or with some few tweaks, it could be better just because it's mainly based off of Attila and actually Attila, despite, you know, Attila's main issue is its performance issues, which with modern hardware don't seem to be as much of an issue anymore, which is good. Just slowly moving, taking our time. We've got some matchlock catchy. I recently rewatched the Last Samurai, and uh, yeah, definitely got me in the mood for all this. We'll see. Your green uniforms are lovely, but yeah, um, I am at some point. I would like to do one final kind of uh, Thrones of Britannia playthrough where I sort of play as the Vikings of Dublin. I think that'd be a fun one. But I'll need to find some mods. I was going to use the Shield Wall mod because I heard a lot of people uh, recommend it, but apparently it's not been updated for quite some time and it... Uh, I think people are saying there's like crashes and stuff with it if you try using it now. So I might just use a smaller collection of mods. Thrones has some very good sieges or at least very good siege maps. They're active. Yeah, we're just taking our time still. Taking our time. The lady is ready, sir. 
Mast Fire. This is what we shall be doing. I just love even in these armies, like the mix of modern troops versus the traditional. It's just really cool. Such an interesting like period of history and just, I mean, Japan itself, such an interesting place. Interesting like culture to it all. Would like to visit one day. My, uh, my brother and his fiance are planning to go there for their honeymoon. And I'm quite jealous of that. <laughs> I mean, I loved where we went for our honeymoon. Um, but it's like I'd love to do a trip to Japan at some point one day. I love the music in this as well. Here we go. Prepare to fire. It's just mass fire. So do they get fire by rank as a as a tech, or is it a Darth Maul thing that perhaps adds it in? Reload faster! Reload faster! Pull them back. Fighting. You need some support. Oh, my days. The Yuri catch. You get absolutely ruined there. broken us over there. Damn. But they're now getting shot in the flanks. Get him. say I'd charge you, but I feel like that would be a bad idea. Charging into spears, maybe. Oh, no. The general's going after my general. Run. Whoa, whoa, what is this? absolutely spanked here. My line if she's getting wrecked. And I can't recruit more of them. Pull back. Charge that general. I 
They're chasing us down. Run away. Call of the Samurai pulling no punches. Yeah, I can't deal with those spear levies. They overwhelmed our, our gun lines. broken over there. I've got to charge their general, I think. It's a general off. I was going to go for those spears, but can't do it. Run, 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 run. Oh, my days. Levy, if you can get a volley off, you might be able to do this. Charge him. That's all they've got left of their match lock catchy. Are no, they broken? Oh, I think we might just be able to turn this around. <laughs> oh, the tightest battle of my life. Oh, I was really worried then. I couldn't see my daimyo. There he is. Oh, my days. Oh, boy. I can inspire them in a minute. Which will be good. Raw Dieck. Devastating first battle. My orders, Lord. Let them taste steel. Diller, any go. Let them taste our steel. Levies at your command. At the double. Get moved back so they can't fire on my general. That's what they're trying to do right now. Keep firing. They're going for a charge. Oh boy. Only just. Oh, Dieck. Uh, we'll continue to finish off the last of them. You guys are the, the heroes of this... this Of uh, Sumi is this battlefield, isn't it? What the heck? Broad line infantry. I don't know if we've lost them completely. Charge them down. I, I thought for quite a 
good few moments there that we'd lost this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when that unit rallied back over there, I knew we had a teeny tiny hope. I thought we were going to lose our daimyo in this. Oh, boy. <laughs> Could have been a very quick campaign. Our army has suffered casualties and yep. requires fresh recruits. Yep. Don't, don't rub it in any further. That's not bad. We lost a spear levy out of all that. The rest are okay. They have 116 remaining. That is impossible. You are ordered, sir. My sword for you, my lord. Well, we are definitely going to need more troops, although I would prefer to save some money to get that cadet school in. But we are going to have more money coming in the next few turns. At the moment, I think we just need some troops to be able to replenish our force a little bit, so I'm going to have to go for those two. I'm going to have to send you guys. Yeah, these two as reinforcements. So yeah, this is the, the Real Armies mod in... Uh, in effect as such so that it shows the rather than it showing a like a standard like general image it will show uh the um it'll show the in image and animation reflecting the unit that is in that army or leading that force if it's not a general which is pretty cool um I mean, if they attack us we've got enough gun troops to finish them off so that's fine oh boy right let's hope our second battle Whenever that is, goes a bit better. They've gathered up reinforcements. They're not hanging about. There are many new technologies to be researched that will bring our cause closer to victory. To select one, open the clan development panel by clicking on the dedicated button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Playing an ambush, my lord. That's fine there. Let's send this ship round that away. are able to rally uncertain elements of successful incitement. Here. The population causes a rip and Ishinshishi can instill fervor amongst the ranks of the army. My lord. Yeah, I was hoping by moving him closer I'd be able to reveal that force. But no. Okay. Got more forces here to send on up. That's good. I am going to get one more levy and then our income should be increased next time with all those developments going through. Orders, my lord. We need to push on these guys and take that. Pronto. We still have a good wind. Might as well bombard it, damage the cadet school there that they've got and just start leveling these guys up a little bit. Happy days. They're going to pull back. That's fine. They'll get some replenishment, right? Yeah, clan fame. We finished that one now. Spring. Good. Advances in technology can provide useful. Yes, it's going for shipyard research. I'm going to go for arms deals, though. Street a wee. Uh, that gave us more replenishment, right? You keep going up here because I want to see what's going on at Bungo. Right, save our money now. Ready for up to your command. Uh, you're getting more replenishment. We've probably got to think about pushing sooner rather than later on these guys. Otherwise, it's going to replenish everything up. Although, they will get a garrison from there, which is not ideal. Our siege is exactly the same in this compared to like Shogun 2. In terms of the fort side, the, the, the layout of the settlement, I assume so. Oh, we can get a geisha. What do geisha do? Um, they're good for town growth, aren't they? Yeah, so they don't directly increase your tax rate, if I'm not mistaken. But don't they increase growth and what have you? Which ultimately does increase... Um, the geisha is a traditional entertainer. Ultimately, does increase uh, income. Lovely. Ready 
It's a shame we can't name units in this, otherwise I would have unit name suggestions for all these guys. I don't think you can name them. No. Weird that they, they lost that in this, where you had it in Empire and Napoleon before. Right. Enter. Saga so looking pretty strong. <laughs> railways can be built. Yeah, we want to get railways. With the relevant province speciality building. Each clan is allowed one line each. Both armies and agents can use railways. To move to a station, right click on it in the same way you would any other target. Once at the station, a geisha is able to use her beauty and guile to convince a rap. The wealth of a province is the sum geisha can inspire. Oh my days. Other, so I'm just trying to work out what she's what she's do, benefiting there. It's not it doesn't affect tax rate, is it just other? Commission and agents, yeah, plus one. So we're at plus one growth now. Right, we're gonna save our money now for a couple of turns and get that cadet school in back there. Yes, Army will march next turn. <laughs> Don't know why they haven't recruited any more that you can't afford to. Or because we damaged their school and they had to repair that first and they haven't been able to. Coastal defenses are gun batteries positioned next to a port to prevent enemy fleets from landing an army in the province. The firing range. Yeah, they're they're quite fun coastal defenses. I like them. Ready for orders. Right. Yeah, we're not 100%, but it's as good as we're going to get. So in we go. Bombard these guys. Uh, they're upgrading their port. They've already got a cadet school there, actually, which is nice, but I'll, I'll likely, well, maybe get rid of it. Maybe keep it. Still can't build the cadet school here. Oh, we're one gold away. You're unfriendly. You're pro shogun, which is fine because I want to take you out. We want to march against you guys sooner or the Oh, we can we can trade with our vassal. That's good. Um, all I demand is much to discuss. one goal, but I'm gonna see if you'll offer me a thousand. Okay, yep, they actually counted. Consider this over and do so with all Boom. Thanks, guys. Now I can get my cadet school in. No, I can't. Oh, I need a bit more. I thought it was 1,400. Yeah, it's 1,006. They wouldn't give me any more, though. <laughs> Nothing else we can do, is there? Welcome, noble friend. Okay, I'm just going to have to wait. Sir, that is a Got the saga uh, are not holding back. They are building up so far. Oh, they've gone into the settlement now. It is possible to increase the defensive capabilities of a castle. Seth Patrick has increased in rank. That's really annoying. You've recruited more troops as well. I mean, I guess we could see if they sally out to us. Um, what retain do we want? The 1866, which uh, we're in 1864 right now. So this is a rifle from the future. Plus 5% to reloading skill of rifle troops or... Yeah, no, go for that. Reload skill. And uh, supervising recruitment. Resolve, sabotage, kind of combat. We want to go through this one for the movement range of drill master, don't we? Yes, my lord. Ready Let's see what this looks like. Not good. We do have bombardment. Oh, they've got line infantry. So much garrison line and sabre cavalry. Will they sally out to me? Like their defenses are going to empower them. Yeah, that garrison infantry is going to absolutely shred because the accuracy is huge. 
I mean, I guess the target would be knock out their Daimyo to weaken them. Could continue the siege to see if they sally out. they go for me with that line of infantry, I think I'm in trouble. I think I should probably break off that siege. Take their farm, pull it back. We need more troops. And I want to get that cadet school in. And more levy. I'm just going to have to spam some levy troops at them. Damn, that first battle really killed our momentum. Solid start to the campaign. It's going to be. They said Satsuma was easy. It can then be upgraded to one of three trading districts, one for each of the foreign powers active in Japan at this time. Okay, so that's once we've got the trade port. He increases in rank. Good. So he's starting to make it pro emperor, which makes lessens the public order hit. Okay, what can we do with the retainer? Baseball bat. Or Boastful Samurai Repression, something Revolts. Uh, the conversion's nice, but let's go for Boastful Samurai. Deal when persuading troops and rallying the populace. Deal when assassinating and instilling fervor. Rallying populace. Converting. Yeah, I want to go through that one. Hoping we might be able to lure them out, but it doesn't look like it. So we're going to have to just get back to our own territory to have more replenishment. And I'll send more of these guys there. I'm going to keep trying to bombard them, weaken them. So yeah, port can go to a trading port or can go to a military port. But that one establishes trade routes to the Western powers. That's what we want to get quickly. So we want to go for cordial relations next. Oh yeah, we can see our clan development bits here, can't we? Oh, yeah. All General's Bodyguard units have been upgraded to use revolvers here. Yeah, I knew it wasn't just new ones that you create. It upgrades them all. So they have um, revolvers in there. That clan tier three changes them. It's easy if you don't lose your starting army first. I mean, I didn't lose my army first turn. It was like, I don't know how many turns we are in now. Can we see a record? We're on turn nine. I think the first battle was what, like turn four or five? I think that battle was um, a bit more deceptive than it looked. Oh, they're oh, perfect. They're coming out to us. Amazing. But wait, they've got they've recruited more line infantry though, haven't they? My sword for you, my lord. And I can't bombard. Well, I really just want to off map bombard you. Will you not let me bombard you? That infantry is going to be devastating. Well, I've, I'm, I mean, I'm swelling my ranks with plenty of. I'm going to go in the forest here and ambush. For you, my lord. Trying to swell my ranks with lots of uh, additional levies. It's all I can do right now. I'm going to have to just go for it. I'm a bit worried if they press straight in for my son and heir. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to run away with him. And I'm going to send this guy over to <laughs> over to join him. Um, yeah, I'll send you in via the reinforcements here. That's one more turn till that goes in. Um, yes, my lord. I'll save my money now, I think. Ready for orders. I'm just going to set them here and keep bombarding them. I need someone remind me to check who the Saga are at war with because they are not hanging about with their strength. Okay, they pull back again. Ports, farms, and speciality buildings are positioned away from the settlement. So careful strategic planning and garrisoning is required. They've been destroyed. 
Okay, Clan Encountered, Toshu and Hiradu. They are pro emperor, but indifferent. I could trade with them if I wanted to. Choshu are very friendly. Yeah, they're establishing control over there. They're, they're gobbling up all these. I'm going to end up either going to war with them or like separating out my territory a bit because. Who are you at war with? Are you at war with the Choshu? Okay. That's one thing I'm kind of like, do I need to be friendly with everyone pro emperor or I feel like there's some occasion where I'll be like, nah, I'm going to take you out anyway. Toshu you are very friendly, though. Saga, though, just causing trouble. Past grievances are pretty high. Yeah, I want to grab both of those, but Choshu look like they're coming down. I mean, they're all quite a few, so hopefully that's going to keep them busy. You guys are allied to the Saga. So, are you allied to the Saga, but you're not at war with the Choshu? No, they're not at war with the melee. Yeah, okay, interesting. Clans can switch. Okay. They're going after these. Go, go, uh, go to uh, go to island. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Ready for orders. Right now, I can start getting line infantry. My sword for you, my lord. Without delay. I'm going to yeah keep you guys ambushed and hope that draws these guys back towards us because then I can strike. Then we can strike. Oh no, the Toshu are at war with the Saga. Oh yeah, sorry, it's just their ally, isn't it? Can reveal information about rival armies. Your orders, sir. them! Will their garrison come out to them or not? So it only, only appears during sieges. I think I'll wait for this line infantry to come in and then we'll go. We can't recruit any more. So now is the time to then strike with what we've got. I think we'll say, like, regardless of what their allegiance, we'll, we're going to control all of this starting island here. All declared. The Obama and the suit. Sir. My sword for you, my lord. Just keep bombarding. Just keep bombarding. I need to lure them back to me now. Cracking start. We've got a large army now. Your orders, my lord. I'm gonna just keep advancing As you wish, my lord. into ambushes to hopefully catch them unawares. Uh. Come on. Ah, damn it, you've gone back inside. William Willis. Um, William Willis, British physician residing in Japan, seeks temporary employment and is offering his services as a medical officer. We need all the help we can get in this conflict. Engage him. Uh, may his skills help keep our men alive. Medical breakthrough, 12 turns, plus two happiness and plus 10% to replenishment rate. Treasury minus 1,000. Let's take it. Ready for orders. At your command. Fire! Now I'm pondering what do I want to do. I mean, I'm still going to move down here. And then do we strike the settlement and try and... I guess we have to try and siege it down. But then that those extra garrison forces are going to be tough. I really want to cat... I really want them to march out again. But they're just staying put. My sword for you, my lord. I wonder if we can lure them to us. At once. Them. Leave the army in ambush and then leave that one there and hopefully that's enough to tempt them out. I don't know if they see the hidden troops or not. Yeah, we're now 
getting more growth from her being in there, which is good. Come on. Let my cunning plan work. Yes! Okay, we didn't trigger the ambush, but they've gone to attack them and these guys coming in as reinforcement. That is a butt ton of cavalry. Oh, no. That is a lot of line infantry as well. Oh, my days. It's going to be really tough, isn't it? Ay, 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 ay. Right, well, for those watching on YouTube, here's a cliffhanger ending and a half for the first episode. Join us next time, part two. Is the fate of the campaign already sealed? Or will we be able to turn it around? Join us next time. Till then, take care. And ciao for now.